Hey folks, Ginny here. Thank you so much for helping us with the facial eczema research that we're doing. This is just a quick video to talk about the faecal sample collection. So number one rule on this one is we want fresh samples please, um, hence the recommendation to quietly move animals into a corner and let them stand um, and drop some fresh faeces for you. Um, but you can often identify fresh faeces as you're walking across the paddock as well. So what are we looking for? Um, we don't want these old dried out ones, thanks. Um, the spores in those are likely to have been damaged or not be present anymore. Um, so those aren't the ones we want. Um, <clears throat> something like this, it's still warm to my touch. Um, it's been freshly passed out the back end of one of my sheep. Um, and these are the ones we want. Um, 10 grams minimum, so um, that's like about the size of a walnut, uh, maybe sort of that much. Um, but it is probably better if you can to completely fill up the pottles. Um, plenty of samples is always better than not enough. Um, and as you can see with this one, um, we've got nice steam there in the pottle indicating that the sample is warm and fresh enough for um, the testing that's required. So that's the basics. Just make sure you pay attention to the other things like your own hygiene, wear gloves, wash your hands afterwards. There's things like Salmonella and Campylobacter can be present in sheep feces that can make you sick. So we don't want those. Um, make sure the pottles are, are sealed up really well. Don't want leakage in the post. Um, couriers don't like that. Um, make sure they go in the biohazard bag, back in the box and then on the courier with all the paperwork. Thanks so much. We really appreciate your help.